this afternoon. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> we'll try not to. <laughs> Bienvenidos, we're so welcome. It's beautiful, it's powerful to see you all out there. Again, my name is Patricia Trujillo, um, and we're so glad to see you here. Uh, we're so happy this morning. Sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, where, oh, where? Okay. We beg your pardon, we don't mean to be up here with our medias kailas, but uh, the, the march got started a little bit before we did. <laughs> uh, so just a few um, housekeeping notes. If you're somebody who needs American Sign Language or with somebody who is hearing impaired, if we can let those folks come up towards the stage, uh, because we do have translators. Also, we were trying to keep this area clear here. If we can just be mindful for folks who um, have any kind of, of um, um, seating issue or um, are disabled uh, for elders. So just be mindful of each other and take care of each other. And we also ask, can we please take care of Mother Earth, right? If we have trash, take it with us. Um, not just today, but every day. Uh, and it's my great honor to get us started with our speakers this morning. Our program is gonna run approximately about two hours and we're a little bit out of order, but that's okay because we don't have to be in that straight line. We can be in circles and in all directions. And we today are really thrilled to introduce our first woman and woman of color to hold the position of land commissioner in the state of New Mexico. And she's really here representing this whole wave of women who have just been recently elected to office not only in our state but throughout the country. Uh, so Stephanie Garcia Richard is joining us here on stage and she will be reading a letter from the governor who was not able to make it with us here today and then also giving us a few of her own words. Stephanie? Sorry, sorry, sorry. So 
sorry. 100 years ago, there was only one woman in Congress. There are right now a record 127 female members of Congress. This is what progress looks like. But we still have a long way to go. I want more, we all want more. Until equal representation is a reality in the most important government bodies of this nation and across the world. This is all part of the change we want to see. Women not only with a seat at the table, but at the head of the table. <laughs> Women who are paid equally for equal work. <laughs> Women who have every opportunity. Women who do not accept antiquated ideas about what they can and cannot be. I know there are women like that here today. I know New Mexican women like my mother, my daughters, are the strongest people I've ever known. Let's march today. Let's march next year, the year after that. But let's also remember we have to keep up the fight every day of the year. We will deliver equal pay for every New Mexican woman by keeping up the fight every single day. We will deliver truly equitable workplaces for every New Mexican woman by keeping up the fight every single day. We will hold harassers and abusers in our communities accountable by keeping up the fight every single day. And we will make this state and this country the place our daughters deserve by keeping up the fight every single day. All right, Edmanas, I just want to acknowledge all of the powerful women standing behind me who ran and won office this last November. And I want to honor my grandmothers, Domitilia Garcia, Rosa Aragon, Edwina Garcia, who have worked the land in New Mexico from time immemorial, who finally have a voice and a face that reflects them in the land office of New Mexico. And my daughters, who will continue this fight from this day on. So ladies, hermanas, abuelitas, primas, madres y comadres, que viva Nuevo México, que viva las mujeres, y que viva nuestro estado encantado. Gracias. Thank you, Commissioner.